Full Coil Ostrich has become one of the most popular exotic leathers for dress cowboy boots. And the black cherry color always looks good in casual or formal situations. Finolio Boot Company out of Nakona, Texas got the memo on both counts with this beautiful black cherry full quill ostrich cowboy boot called the Senator. In this review video, I'm going to break down the details of this boot, do an extended wear test, and you might have a chance to win a pair in your size. Will this boot's quality match its beauty? Or like most Senators, will it fall short of expectations? Ha! <laughs> Let's get into it! I'm just here to connect ya. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you for clicking on this video today. I'm coming at you from the Well Said Media Studios in Ithaca, New York, and I'm really excited to have partnered with cartersboots.com and Finolio for this boot review today. And if you're watching within the first couple of weeks of it being posted, you might have a chance to win a pair for yourself, but more on that later. We always have to start out these extended test reviews by breaking down the details of this boot with the rundown. All right, this is a black cherry full quill ostrich boot from Finolio Boot Company. Cartersboots.com has named this the Senator. You can see that full quill ostrich on the foot and the counter. Full Quill Ostrich is one of the softest and most comfortable leathers out there, so it's no wonder why it's become so popular for dress boots like this. And this color is Black Cherry. You can sort of see the red poking through the black, and as these break in, you might get a little bit more red than black. It always depends. It's always a classy look for sure. Down here for a toe shape, we have Finolio's five toe with a double stitched welt. It's kind of a wide cutter toe style, but a lot of custom cowboy boot makers will also call this a box toe and refer to it by its measurement. So this is a two inch box toe. You can see the difference between this square toe style and other more popular square toe styles that slope a little bit more. Finolio did a great job lasting this boot so that there are no wrinkles. I really like the look of this. This boot comes in at 13 inches tall and it has black leather calfskin tops with beautiful red stitching, tying it back into that black cherry foot. For a heel, we have Finolio's 10 heel, which is about a one and a half inch stacked leather heel. It looks incredible. For an outsole, we have a leather outsole and it's on there with a Goodyear welt. So when you run through this leather outsole, you can get these resold and you can also see lemon wood pegs and brass nails alongside the shank here. On the inside, we have a leather lining and it's very soft. And for an insole, we have a non-removable soft leather insole. So you have a layer of foam and a layer of leather on top of that. Finolio Boots out of Nakona, Texas also makes several different width sizes with their cowboy boots. So I was able to get my true size of a 12B. These boots are made in the USA right there in Nakona, Texas, and they're coming in at $600 at cartersboots.com. But when you use my promo code Jeremiah Craig at checkout, you can save 10% and the price comes down to $540. Now let's try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got those Finolio Black Cherry Ostrich Senator boots on right now, and they feel really good, and they went on really easy. That wider square toe, that wider cutter toe, the two inch box toe, all of those names work. It makes the fit just a little bit wider. So I'm able to fit in these a little bit better than the Finolios that I tried out last year, which had a little bit more of a narrow square toe than what these are. So that's actually good. I'm able to wear my favorite socks with these, which are the Thorlos 12 hour work shift socks. They're a little bit thicker. They got some cushion to them. And I love when I can break in a pair of boots with those socks, which is what I plan on doing with these. The B-width is such a huge value for me. I can feel it at my arch. It's an incredible amount of support. That's where so many cowboy boot companies are going wrong right now. They're only releasing Ds and double E widths, but there's lots of you guys out there who just need a B width or an A width or a C width. Finolio does it all. So it means so much to the arch fit on these boots. If you wanna know more about widths importance, you can see a recent video that I did above. The ostrich leather is nice and supple. You know, it's not as supple as some other ostrich that I've tried in the past, but it still will break in really, really well. Let me pull over those pants so you can see what they look like just wearing normal. 
All right, here we go. There we go. This looks great. I really like the look of these boots. The wide square toe isn't too wide. It looks good with these Wrangler 20X Competition Slim Fit jeans. And I'm imagining that will look great with several of my other jeans as well. Since the top is proportional to the size of the boot, right? It's not too wide. So it's not going to print through a lot of jeans. This is gonna work with a lot of different stuff that you already have in your wardrobe, which is really nice. Here's the POV, just look at that shine. Jeez, these just glimmer in the lights of the studio here, and it looks really nice. You know, I'm not a huge fan of what the wide square toe with the double stitch welt has looked like in the past, but with that sort of box toe look, that wide cutter toe style here, I like it a lot, actually. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. All right, we're just getting started, so we gotta take these out in the world to see if the quality is up to the level of how pretty these are. It's extended test time. It was off to Dryden, New York to celebrate local dairy farmers with Dairy Day. All around the town, there were sponsor cow cutouts to support the event, which included a 5K run, a parade, and music in the park. The day kicked off with a 5K run they called the Cow Chase, and if you've ever worked at a dairy farm, you know that chasing cows around is just part of it sometimes. Then the color guard starts the parade for Dairy Day in downtown Dryden, followed close behind by the first of many cows. Fun fact about the New York State dairy industry, it's the fifth ranked state in total milk production in all of the US, producing around two billion gallons of milk a year with over 3,000 dairy farms. Everyone in town was supporting the farmers in this parade, including a local tree service business that had an active chainsaw on the trailer behind. This didn't seem super safe to me, but hey, they're not my legs. My favorite part of the parade was the Tractors of Yesteryear group. These types of tractors are still being used by so many folks around the country. I remember running the bush hog on a tractor like this when I was a kid. They're just built so well. As the tractors ride off into the horizon, the parade was over, so it was time to head over to the park, and on the way we see more of those cows getting loved up by kids in the community. This event means so much to people since there are so many dairy farms around. The park was packed. First things first was to head over to the milk tent to buy a carton. I was thirsty. Cheers! With my thirst quenched for the moment, it was time to check out some of the games they had for folks. The first was a guessing game for hay bales in this trailer. Since there were about four bales wide, nine bales long, and five bales high, I was thinking that there could potentially be 180, but since they weren't all stacked perfectly, I guessed 135. But now I'm thinking that that was still too high of a guess. I haven't heard back from the Dairy Day event coordinators on the actual number. Next up on the games was the hay bale throwing competition, where you throw a hay bale as far as you can in one try. And it's not as easy as you think. Early on though, there was this big toss of 21 feet. And who knows what it could have been if that kid didn't run through the course. It was my turn to give it a shot, and I only threw a disappointing 13 feet. The bale exploded on impact thanks to all the throws it already experienced. <laughs> it wasn't the worst throw and ended up being kind of average. I wish I had another try, but hey, I'll have more opportunities to beat that throw in the future. To lift my spirits after the hay toss defeat, I got some ice cream and listened to the brass band play, thankful for dairy farmers in New York and around the world. Without them, some of our favorite foods would not be possible. I had so much fun at Dryden Dairy Day. If you want to know more about the event, head on over to drydendairyday.org. Now for my final thoughts about this Finolio boot, and I really like this thing. I love the fit of Finolio boots, especially at the arch. It feels so good and makes it really easy to wear for long periods of time. It didn't take long for this boot to lose the shine that it had originally, brand new, out of the box, which is okay because the shine of this boot was damn near blinding. You guys saw it in the studio lights and it was really that shiny. To give it a bit more of a shine again, I like to use Angela's cleaner and conditioner. It works great for reptile skins and that's how it's marketed, but I found that it also works really well on ostrich too and buffs out well for a nice shine. You could also use a burgundy shoe cream or a natural shoe polish, but I'm happy with how these look 
at the moment. The ostrich leather that Fenolio uses isn't as supple as some of their competitors, like it's not nearly as soft or as supple as the Anderson Bean ostrich leather, but it's softer than the Chiso's King Roper ostrich. So it's kind of a nice in between. It still will need some breaking in, but not that much. Let's talk more about this five toe. I really like this toe shape and I like it a lot better than what has been popular over the past 10, 20 years. That wide square toe that's almost like a wide French toe and it slopes a little bit more. This looks really good, especially as the boots break in more and more. I was kind of on the fence about it when I started this video, but as this boot broke in and I'm starting to get some wrinkles up here, it looks really, really cool. One thing to note though about this edge here on this toe is that it gets kicked up really easy and you can get scuffs and gouges on a toe like this. And when that happens to black cherry leather, sometimes the pink shows through on the gouges. Just so you know, whenever you scratch or scuff or even just wear in a pair of black cherry boots, the pink color underneath can show through and that's happening here on these boots, but that will happen with pretty much any black cherry boot from any maker. It's just sort of what comes with the leather color. I criticized the last Finolio boot that I did an extended test on for its sloppy finishing, especially at the welt. But this welt is finished really, really well and it's finished awesome everywhere else. I have no complaints about the finishing of this boot. Another criticism that I had the last time I did a Finolio video is that the heel counter is kind of soft when you want this area of the boot to be as stiff as possible. And they do use a leather heel counter here, but it's just not as thick or as sturdy as the leather that some of their competitors are using. When I met with them in Wichita Falls back in October when they gave me these boots, they said that was a good piece of critique and they're talking with their leather provider to see if they can get a stiffer leather for their leather heel counter back here. So this is kind of an older boot from several months ago. The boots that they are producing now might have stiffer heel counters. We'll have to see. And if you have a new pair of Finolios that you just got, then definitely let me know what your experience is with this heel counter down in the comments. All in all, I'm a fan of these Finolios and Finolios in general. I think it's awesome that they're made right here in the USA and they have several different width sizes. It makes a huge difference for the fit and comfort of these boots. So if this boot was really a Senator, I'm gonna have to say that I would vote for this 100%. All right, now it's on to the giveaway information. That's right, if you're watching this video, within the first two weeks of it being posted, you have a chance to win a brand new pair of these Fenolio Senator boots in your size from cartersboots.com. Here's what you have to do to enter. Number one, like this video so more people see it. Number two, subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have subscribed, you can skip down to the last step, which is fill out the form at the link in the description with your name, email, and I have a few other questions for you as well so I can contact you if you win. I'll announce the winner on Thursday, July 6th in a Boots and Ballads live stream right here on YouTube starting at 8 p.m. Eastern where I'll play music, talk boots, and so much more. It's a great time and you seriously won't want to miss it. Until then, let me know what you think of these Finolio boots down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. I love you guys so much and I will see you on Thursday, July 6th. Peace. They say there's nothing finer than Finolio, especially when the Senator shows. Steps right up and he lets them all know, ain't nothing finer than Finolio. Thank you so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this other Finolio video that I did up here? Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe up here and I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.